To write the name for MnCl2, we first recognize that we have a metal and a nonmetal. So when we have a metal and a nonmetal, we're going to name this as an ionic compound. First, we'll write the name for the metal as it appears on the periodic table. So Mn, that's manganese. Next, we write the name for the nonmetal as that appears on the periodic table. For Cl, that's chlorine, we'll start with the lowercase c. And then we replace the ending with IDE. So we write IDE. And at this point, we have manganese chloride. But manganese, MN, that's a transition metal. And that means that because it's a transition metal, it can have different oxidation states depending what it's bonded to. Here, it's bonded to chlorine. So if we go to the periodic table, we look up chlorine, we can see chlorine right here. When it forms ions, they'll have a 1 minus ionic charge. So each chlorine is going to have a 1 minus ionic charge. So we need this all to have a net charge of 0. 2 times 1 minus, that's 2 minus. Mn has to be 2 plus. Because of that, we're going to put in parentheses Roman numeral 2 to show that the manganese ion here will have a 2 plus ionic charge. So this is the name for MnCl2, manganese 2 chloride. You'll sometimes also see MnCl2 written as manganese dichloride. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.